All right, in this video, you will learn how to state the quadrant in which the terminal side of each angle lies. All right, we're just finding the quadrant. Um, it will be very useful to look at the numerical value, the decimal form of the coefficient here. So 17 eighteenths. All right, 17 divided by 18. Toggle it, all right, that is 0.94. Okay, um, so 0.9. Let's just round it to 0.9 for right now. That means that this is approximately equal to negative 0.9 pi. All right, it's almost negative 1 pi. All right, but it's negative 0.9 pi. Um, so, let's just draw a picture of what we're talking about. Remember that pi is a semicircle. Um, standard position always begins positive x-axis. Because we're talking about a negative angle, we are traveling clockwise. Now, if I went from here all the way to here, that would be negative 1 pi right or negative pi but I'm not quite going all the way am I all right let me go ahead and put my y-axis in um, I'm stopping short I'm stopping at 0.9 all right almost but not quite so if I go back and redo that and this time uh, careful to stop short all right so that means I'm stopping somewhere around in here not quite making it all the way um, then all they're asking us is for the quadrant. This is in the third quadrant. So this is quadrant three. Okay, that's all there is to it. There's really just not that much going on here. Let's look at number six. Let's find this quadrant. Again, it is easy if you look at um, the decimal form. So even on a four function calculator. So 19 divided by 6. 19 divided by 6. All right, so that's 3.2. It's approximately 3.2. That means this is approximately negative 3.2 pi. All right, so let's draw a picture and see where we land. So here's my unit circle. Here's pi. And here is pi over 2, if anybody cares. Um, so standard position starts positive x-axis. Because this is a negative angle, I will travel clockwise. Okay, so I need to go negative 3 pi and then some change. So here's negative 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi. So far I've gone negative 3 pi. Let me mark that down. So that's negative 3 pi. If I went all the way to here, it'd be negative 3.5 pi. But that's too far because I want negative 3.2. So I'll just go a little bit of a ways in. And this must be where I stop. All right, and that puts me in the second quadrant, quadrant two. And that's really all there is to finding uh, the quadrant.